the number 20 is as sacred as Thanksgiving Day. It's Barry taking the torch of those that came before and leaving a legacy that'll never fade. To prove there is no curse of Bobby Lane. by NFL football. Icons erecting everlasting memories. Laying down roots for future generations. This is Houston. here for this matchup between the Lions and the Oilers. Phil, you played in this game. You know what it's like. And we're just a few minutes away from getting it started. Kickoff at the Super Bowl. What are you thinking? Well, it's so exciting. And I will tell you, this is the one time where nerves can really affect the play of the players in the game because it is so big. It is so different but you've got to make sure you settle down and just concentrate on the next play. Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, getting set for the Super Bowl, the biggest event in American sports. Boy, it really is. It's truly a holiday. Everybody gets together, Jim. They all watch it on TV and everything. And, of course, for the players, it is an unbelievable time. All your dreams have come true. You have a chance to play in the Super Bowl. Can you handle the pressure? These players nowadays, they can handle the pressure. It's going to be exciting. The Lions are ready. to receive the kick. The onside kick is turned away and the receiving team has it. Here's the former number one pick overall in the draft. Quarterback Matthew Stafford out of Georgia. First down, offense reading for the snap. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Here's the group that perhaps has the game's biggest assignment, the offensive line. Matthew Stafford will be under center. Play action fake, looking to throw. They break through, tackle up behind the line. This defensive front is so often disruptive and in the quarterback space. The Lions with an empty backfield look here. Third down and three. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Unstoppable. Touchdown. That's the first one here at the Super Bowl. Nothing like scoring first in any game, but when you do it the Super Bowl, you can just times it by 10 because the pressure builds on the other team. They know they're behind. They want to score some points. It just makes it tougher when you get on the board first. The Houston Oilers are usually one of the best of the league in stopping opponents on their opening drive. Not the case this time. The score's 7-0. to zero. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. This quarterback at this point, this is not a first-time experience for him. He's been in a lot of big spots as he takes the field for the first time today. Yeah, veteran quarterbacks, Jim, you're right. It's not their first time seeing the, a game, situations. They're ready for everything, and their thoughts are always good. Offense lines up here. Three-step drop. He's looking to go down the field here. That pass, well defended. And the offense here in this one will be looking to put points on the board in punches. This starting lineup is brought to you by Snickers. Snickers satisfies. Wells is lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Yeah. 
Second down and ten. He wants to go deep. And that ball's nearly picked off, but he dropped it. This linebacking core is the heart and soul of this defensive unit. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Looking long. What a catch. No one's going to get him now. What an effort. He's touched him. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. with an extra point try on the way. Extra point is good. Got a tie game here now and what's been a good one so far. The score's 7-7. Seven to seven. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Stafford still has it after some nifty play action. J.J. Watt rushes the quarterback. I got to blame the offensive line that time. Giving up a sack early in a game like that. You cannot take chances. Don't overplay as an offensive lineman. If you do it, you give up a sack. Throws to the right. Makes the grab. Tackles made. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. Stafford's got it in the gun. Ball is caught. Well, the defense in the perfect situation at time. They make the quarterback throw it short, but then nobody makes the tackle. Get in position. Wrap your arms around the legs of these receivers and bring them down. First and ten. They tackle them for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. The Houston Oilers lined up in the nickel. Stafford's back in shotgun formation. Complete. In on the stop. Well, the only thing I can say about that play, it was better than an incompletion. The quarterback gets the completion. And they pick up a yard or two. So they get the reception, but it's not enough to move the chains. Third down coming up. Going across the middle. Ball's going to be incomplete. A hit knocked the ball out. The punter awaits the snap. Set up return. Here he goes. Muscles through the defender. What a good job by the punt returner that time. He caught it, didn't panic. He waited. He saw the blocking in front of him, made some good decisions, and a good punt return. Nickel formation here for the defense. Launches it down the field. Oh, almost caught. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. You got to wait to the last. Second, wait to the receiver uses his hands, and once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play! And now they'll try over again on second down. Play action. Looks to his left. And he makes the catch. He's brought down. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. After the long game, let's see what they do here. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. 
They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. That defensive front looks impenetrable. Here on and he's in for the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. And the extra point is good. The Houston Oilers getting in position for the kickoff. Their offense didn't have to travel too far to put a touchdown on the board on that last series. Some great special teams work by the punt return team put them in a fantastic position and from there it was just a routine drive the rest of the way on first down out of the shotgun balls on the ground the offense was able to recover the ball nice job that time by the offense even though they fumble it at least they were quick enough and smart enough to get it on it right away The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Makes the catch. Gains 13. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. The Lions lined up in the pistol. First and 10. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. And here we have second down. And he's going to be brought down. Well, it's just a race against time, isn't it? When the defense blitzes, can you get to the quarterback before he has time to recognize the blitz and throw it to a receiver? Finley's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. He'll throw it over the middle. A foot race to the end zone. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. Double tight end formation. The throw to the left. Almost intercepted that time. There are a lot of ways to attack cover two. You can go deep down the middle where neither the safeties are or if a linebacker covers somebody deep down the middle, then throw it short underneath the Let's defense. Go. Second and ten. Down the field. Off the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. In trouble now. He's looking long. Nice catch. Scores the touchdown. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. Kickers ready to go. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Two tight ends. From the gun. Looking across the middle, forgot to catch the football. These receivers, it's almost always the one reason.
They took their eyes off the football before it got there. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Stafford standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. down here after the completion tight ends in motion here Stafford in shotgun formation Chandler Jones gets to the quarterback Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go and you're watching the NFL on EA Sports Johnson's lined up in the slot. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Well, the defensive coach is going to be upset after this play. After that long run, terrible angles, and really just a lack of hustle by the defense gives up the long run. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Stafford's going to take it from the gun. Throwing now to his left. And he's brought down right at the 43. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it, it gained a few yards. So that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Throws the pass. It under now for O's and it's incomplete. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Third down. They send the tight end in motion. A little screen set up here. Just had to avoid the sack. Incomplete. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position, make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Picks up just a couple. Well, I can't blame the punt return at that time. That was just excellent coverage by the punt team. They come to the line, and it's first down. Fake. Going for the deep ball. Hauls it in deep down the middle. So you can throw the football that high, that accurate, and man, it is beautiful. Right on the target. Nice catch. What a play. They've got a first down now after that catch. Here's the handoff to Beanie Wells. And he's tackled down at the 36-yard line. This will be second down. The give. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. First down here after the run. Looking for an open receiver on the right. He leaps up to grab it, and the hooks. Touchdown. Nowadays, these receivers can do it all. Look at the jump and catch by the wide receiver. Defensive back, he has no chance here.
the Lions are ready to receive the kick. And touchback. up in the pistol on this play now first and ten the quarterback will hand it off swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage so many things you could do on first down and what do you come up you come up with that play that was just a bad play call second down here after that run play tight end in motion the call is for encroachment that's five yeah that they too impatient on the defense's part there they're just they're too anxious to get to the quarterback, and Jim, Still second down. that's a, just a good break for the offense right there. Offense lines up here. Second down and six. Reaches out and snatches it. There's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. Offense lines up here. Stafford's going to take the snap from the shotgun. No one in sight has the grab. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down. Now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. Lined up in the pistol formation. First and ten, handoff to the back. He'll go left. Pat Chung makes the tackle. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Play fake here. Interception. And he's brought to the ground. Most NFL linebackers with borderline good enough to be a running back. And they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the linebacker. First down coming up. Tosses it to the running back. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. Wells is lined up as the single back. Second and eight. Go, go, ground. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. That's a gain of eight. The all-tackle run is just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. Almost intercepted. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. Terrible job by the offensive line. Your quarterback needs more time than that. Uh, another incompletion. It converts on the three. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. The returner opts for the touchback, and the offense will begin at the 20. at the line of scrimmage with their set of receivers in a bunch formation. The tackle was made. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's his zone 
and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. That reception gave them the first down. Stafford in shotgun formation. That pass was hers. Too much pressure on.
on the quarterback on that play, Phil. Oh, that defense, boy, oh boy, are they aggressive, and they can get after the quarterback. We saw it on that play. This is going to be a tough assignment for this offensive line today. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun, looking to the right side and throw. He's in the clear. He's got some daylight. The 10, and in for the touchdown. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seating. And what do you get? Easy touchdown pass. The Oilers must feel like the momentum has shifted against them as they await the return before the intermission. Still leading, but not by much. The score's 31 to 21. And the tackle's made right around the 26 yard line. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Back. He's going deep. Incomplete, almost intercepted. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. Second and ten down the field oh and almost picked up that time they went for the deep throw but the defensive back was there yeah good job that time i got to give the defensive back a lot of credit he was not caught sleeping out there he was alert read the right keys and he was right with the receiver to knock down that deep throw from the gun Heaving it down the field. Forces a three and out. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time, and they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. Loads it up. It's going deep. Right down Broadway. It's a touchdown. Well, how about that? A Hail Mary pass goes for the touchdown. There's so many things. The receiver, terrific job. But probably more importantly, terrible, terrible job by the defense. The Lions just can't stop them here before the half and now they'll wait for the kickoff facing a sizable deficit the scores 38 to 21 no return the ball's coming out to the 20. setting up here he's been sacked four times already what a beating it has been for the quarterback he had no time to get set Matthew Stafford will be under center second and ten Matthew Stafford looking long Dan it's incomplete I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend the long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Here it's a third and ten to give to the running back. How about the defensive line? Getting that penetration, getting off the football at the snap, and getting it done, getting in the backfield and making that tackle.
and tackled down at the 49-yard line. Wells is in the backfield. Single back set. Launching it deep. Could have been intercepted. What a good job by the defensive back that time. That ball was thrown beautifully down the field. High arcing throw, but the defensive back in great position knocks it down. Second down coming up. Airing it out. Very nearly intercepted. Well, I guess every once in a while you got to keep that single high safety back there alert. That time the quarterback shouldn't have thrown it. Almost got away with it, but the football was incomplete. An empty possession for the offense. So they opt to go for the long field goal try early in this game. And with the missed kick, they give their opponent some great starting field position. Yeah, I thought it was a big risk trying this long field goal here early in the game. And it, it could backfire on them. We'll see if the defense can bail them out. Matthew Stafford looking long. And the interception by Patrick Chung. That does it for the first half. Lions trailing this one. Lions set to kick it. And the tackle is made right around the 26-yard line. Now on first down. step drop looking to go deep it's incomplete the defender had it for a moment but could not pick it off cleanly they call that the moment of truth it's a beautiful throw down the field but the defensive back he waits until it's time to make that jump he defends the pass what a good job by the defensive back working that left side under pressure and incomplete Looking at third down. Looking long. Des Bryant is there. Another third down conversion. The offense continues to come through in the clutch. You just can't expect your defensive backs to cover that long. Uh, it's good coverage initially, but the quarterback had all day long, and sooner or later, these great wide receivers are going to get open. First and ten to the ground here. He's brought to a halt. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. They're able to move the chains after that last run. He's got the touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O line. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. They'll take it at the 20. Stafford will be under center. First and ten from the eye. They give it to the deep back. A tackle behind the line. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Chandler Jones gets to the quarterback. Well, that's a sign of a good defense. When you can sack the quarterback when you're just rushing the defensive lineman, you don't need any tricks. You don't need any blitzes. Man, that's talent. 
Matthew Stafford backed off the line. Shotgun formation. The Lions now moves the chain. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. First and ten. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Johnson's in the slot. Second down and eight. Staying on the ground. Picks up about two. Good job by the defensive line. Standing in there and fighting. And they hold the running back to a short gain. Third down now. Stafford's got it in the gun. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Stafford in shotgun formation. The defense gets the sack. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. When you play this uh, cover three defense, just kind of sit back there and try not to give up the big play. That is great. The problem is you give up all these short plays. How about that throw by the quarterback on that slam pattern that time? Makes the grab. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. Nice job that time by the defense. Knowing the situation. Go ahead and let the quarterback complete the pass. Just make sure you come up and make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. down here just a quick drop back sticks to his hands well when you keep chipping away with these short throws sooner or later that defense is going to come up and when they come up that's when you throw it over the top that leads us to second down it's Sue who takes the quarterback down defensive tackles we always think of them as run stoppers how about this that time he does a great job, gets in there, and sacks the quarterback. It's third and 15 here after the sack. Play action. He's scrambling now. And he's almost intercepted. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Nickel formation for the defense here. Going for the home run. On target. Going to take it the distance. The 10. Touchdown. Hail Mary 
pass. I threw a lot of them in my career. I did not hit one. And here today, how about that? They throw the Hail Mary pass. It's completed. Terrific job by the quarterback and the receiver. The Houston Oilers lined up now for the point after. Extra point is good. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. That'll be 20. First down on the way. Tight ends in motion here. Looking to the right here on this throw. And he was wide open. And that's a touchdown. And they inch closer. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. The tackles made right around the 25-yard line. Let's the defense comes out of the nickel. Snap back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Secures it with two hands. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing lead. So we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. Wells is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Staying with the passing game on first down. He's looking to go down the field here, and it falls incomplete. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. you got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands, and once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. The defense comes out in the nickel. Second down and 10. Quarterback drops back. Play action. He wants to go deep. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Well, the NFL, no lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. He made it. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Send him to the 20 yard line. Receivers are bunched up. First and ten. They're going to get him this time. So many ways to overcome your quarterback getting hit and set. Throw the football quicker. Keep the tight end and running backs in. If you do that, he'll have time to throw it down the field. And as the third quarter comes to a close, we'll take a short break before the beginning of the fourth here in Tampa, Florida. The big sack on the last play brings up second down and 11. Completion this time. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. It's third down coming up. Dropping back three. Makes the reception. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. 
I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Stafford's back in shotgun formation. And he'll step out of bounds. I know you won't believe this, but sometimes completing a short pass like that does give a quarterback confidence, so it does serve a purpose. Second down and seven. Challenging the defenders to the right side. When you play zone coverage, the quarterback might have to hold the football just a little longer. But these guys nowadays, when you play zone, they know how to throw and catch and get it done. First down here after the completion. Stafford standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Gains nine. That's a nice route on the outside. Nice throw by the quarterback. Puts him in good position to keep moving and get a first down. Watch the play, watch the play. Nickel formation here for the defense. Second and one. Throws to the right. He brings it in here, and he's got the first. Picks up 20. Well, even though they're down more than seven here, the offense down the red zone, it'll be good for them for the rest of this game, their confidence uh, for the offensive coach that they can punch this in for the touchdown. First and ten. It's J.J. Watt behind the line of scrimmage. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. After getting sacked, it's now second and 18. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Gates 20. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still, they're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. Back to the air here on first down, eyeing that left side. And he's brought down by Brian Cushing. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. They send the tight end in motion. Second and goal from the three. Going across the middle. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. The long drive continues. Third and goal at the three. Looking to the right side and throwing. Has it. Touchdown. Gets pretty tight down in here when you got third and goal. Not a lot of room for receivers to work in, but the quarterback and receiver, they're on the same page. Good throw and catch. Makes the PAT. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. Tackle down at the 46-yard line. The Lions with a nickel look here on defense. Looking long. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. These NFL receivers are so fast that you just got to get rid of that football and let it go. That time the quarterback waits a little too long and he underflows the receiver down the field. Second down and 10. Play action fake. Looking to throw. What a catch down the middle. Six in the books.
How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. For a touchback. Stafford will be under center. First down and 10. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. <laughs> well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, right. The guy that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. Now, second down. Stafford's going to take it from the gun. J.J. Watt rushes the quarterback. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sacked the quarterback. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. He's looking to the right here on this throw. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Should be a routine punt. got a chance to return this one. That brings the play to an end. is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. First and 10. Launches it down the field. No stopping him now. That's a touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open to make the catch. The Houston Oilers lined up now for the point after. The point after try is in the books. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. And a touchback. Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the two-minute warning here in the fourth. First and ten. They're setting up screen, and he hauls it in. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch.
second down coming up. Stafford's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. They've got a first down now after that catch. Stafford's got it in the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Intercepted. That'll stop the play right there. What a terrible job by the quarterback. But nobody's open. Tries to force the pass, and look. What's it turn into? An interception. Wells is lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. Play action. Down the field. And incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. Play action fake. Trying to work that left side. What a catch. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. That long gain sets them up here on this play as they go ground here. The Oilers get a first down. Well, Jim, what a day for this offense. You know, they're blowing the team out, and here they are once again in the red zone. I, hey, listen, if I was him, I'd go ahead and try to punch it in one more time. First down here after the run. Here's Beanie Wells carrying the football for about four. Second down. Here's the handoff to Beanie Wells. Okay, let's get out here. That may have been the clincher right there. Yeah, what a game all day long. So exciting to end it like this late in the game. Man, you enjoy victories like this. Lined up now in kickoff formation. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. They face first down. Tight end in motion. Stafford's back in shotgun formation. And he's forced to the ground. Stickers is the proud sponsor of this satisfying defensive replay. When hunger hits, Snickers satisfies. Looking down the field, another sack. Wow, looks like the defense encroached. Offense really backed up now. Third down after the penalty. Stafford in shotgun formation. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Houston Oilers signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. going to challenge the punt coverage. They bring him down at the 41-yard line.
Bryant's going to get set in the slot for this snap. First and ten. He's looking long. Makes the blowout continues. Another touchdown. It's been an amazing thing to watch. A new record in the league for most touchdown passes in a single game. And he's done it every single way today. He's thrown it deep down the field. He's thrown it with power. He's thrown it on the run. Uh, he deserves a record. Great job today. They're going to bypass the point after and try to put an additional two points on the board as they convert. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Here for the defense. Now first and ten. Needs to get rid of it. The ball is out. Houston has won the Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy is headed to the Bayou City. You were the first to ever say, after a Super Bowl victory, I'm going to Disneyland. Now, what about these players on the field here today? I know you'll find this amazing. I did it without cue cards. I memorized that, and it was awesome. It was a great feeling. Again, we don't hear that cliche anymore, do we? That arm strength is overrated when you talk about the quarterbacks. We see it so often. The play of the game today is a long pass by the QB, and it's just a beautiful throw by the quarterback. triumphantly. What a season it's been for them, and no better way to top it off than with a Super Bowl victory. Truly a special moment. For Bill Sims and all the crew, I'm Jim Nance. Stay tuned for the post-game wrap-up show, and we'll see you next year here on EA Sports.